I'd like to introduce, oh, I um, was a muted there. Good evening. I'd like to introduce Mr. Lem Andrews. Good evening and welcome. Tonight we are here to celebrate uh, the class of 2021, a phenomenal group of young people who have done amazing things here at school this year. In a post-pandemic world that they're about to enter in, I have no doubt that they are ready uh, to face that world to impact change because I've seen them here in this College and Career Resource Center. I've seen their unselfishness. I've seen the hard work. They've demonstrated the agility, the persistence needed to be students of change. And I applaud and celebrate those students tonight. Welcome to our virtual Senior Awards Night. We will celebrate and we will congratulate these seniors tonight. And we will also recognize the number of what we call partners, Booker family and Booker Nation, who've also been here in this room, assisting those students with college scholarships and applications, also their financial support, mentoring and volunteering. Your support has been invaluable to these young people. Thank you again for being with us tonight. Let's enjoy the program. Let me bring back to you our host for tonight, Merlin Shake. Thank you very much, Mr. Andrews. As you see, I got my shades on from all those bright futures we just saw coming up on that pre-show. Amazing colleges these students are getting accepted to. And it, thankfully, they're gonna have lots of support based on all of our sponsors tonight. First thing I'd like to do is remind everybody you see on the top right hand corner, donate now. Uh, we'd love to see some donations come through. Also students, you have an opportunity to earn seven different gift cards and four graduation pods for graduation, obviously. In order to participate in this, you need to have your name entered into the chat. Every time your name is entered into the chat, you are entered into the drawing to win one of these fantastic prizes. There'll be reminders throughout the night. And at the end of the night, we will figure out who those are and they will be announced tomorrow at school. So keep putting your names in the chat so we can keep our workers busy tabulating those results. We now have a special presentation from our VPA dance titled Daydreaming in Nature.
going to figure out this mute thing. I was dancing the, along with them, not as eloquently, obviously. Um, fantastic. Thank you so much, VPA Dance, for putting that together for us. Um, those of you who don't know, Miss Davis was going to be a part of this, and this was her reaction. She was amazed. Great job, dancers. You may not know this, but tonight, over $500,000 in scholarships are being awarded. 500 k Great job, students. And then, again, thank you to all our donors. Speaking of donors, Sarah. Sarah, thank you for your $25 donation. Students, remember to shout out each other and send out congratulations. Now, Dr. Shelley has a special announcement. What an amazing four years. We had a lot of highs and lows. Unforgettable 2021 the way you ended your junior year and then how you started your senior year. But I can never be so proud of a group of students that I've had the pleasure of working with than you. Seniors class of 2021, you did it. I want to thank all of your wonderful parents and all of our supporters that are part of the Senior Awards Night. We are celebrating you seniors for your accomplishments. Not only was 2017 the year that I turned 50 and the year that you entered as a freshman, but it's also, in my opinion, it was a beta year, the year that we began to test all of our college and career readiness initiatives. You laid the foundation for Booker High School seniors that are to follow your class. I am so proud of you. I wish I was there to celebrate with you, but I'm actually away attending my daughter's awards night as she prepares for college graduation. As with my daughter, I want nothing but success for all of you. Welcome, welcome to the Senior Awards Night. Seniors sit back, relax, and enjoy. Donors, thank you for supporting Booker High School. Thank you for investing in our students. By investing in our students, you are indeed helping to change the trajectory of some of their lives. So thank you. I also want to give you an opportunity to support something that is very dear to my heart and of Booker High School stakeholders, and that is Booker Promise. Booker Promise is an offset of the Booker way, the way we do things here at Booker High School. We started in the year 1516, and now we are concluding our second year awarding scholarships for deserving students. So they will be able to attend any post-secondary institute, preferably here in the state of Florida, and be able to leave pretty much debt-free. We are purchasing 529 scholarships for our deserving students, and we need your consideration. A simple $500 donation will be enough to pay for up to 50% of their ability to attend that particular state university or college or technical school here in the state of Florida. So continue to invest in Booker High School and our students by joining me in my investment with Booker Promise. Yes, I am a co-founder, but more importantly, it is this class, these seniors sitting here today to help lay the groundwork for this program. We're only in our second year and we're looking to raise $400,000 a year, which will be more than enough to purchase 100 scholarships. And we have matching opportunities. So your 500 will get us to the point of almost 50% of that. Two of you donating 500 a piece, that would be enough for a senior who's graduating beyond this class, starting with the class of 2024. That's a joke with my seniors, sorry about that. 2024, we're, we're graduating class and be able to help every class member thereafter. Thank you for your consideration. Enjoy. Not gonna make that mistake again. Dr. Shelley, as always, if you turned it up, she got a little louder for you. That's what she does. She's so passionate about Booker Promise and our students. Please help us by donating, hitting the button in the top right corner. We have some special scholarship presentations coming up, starting out with Gamma Zai Boulay and Mr. Carl Battle. Oh, Mr. Bill, we're gonna go to Dr. Bill Woodson for the Archimedes Scholarship. 
Good evening and hello Booker High School. My name is Bill Woodson and I am the Dean of Outreach and Chief Diversity Officer for the New College of Florida, the State University System's only all honors college. And it's my pleasure and I'm also proud to say that I, uh, while not a Booker graduate, I'm a Booker legacy. As my mother, Ruby G. Woodson, was Booker's class valedictorian for 1947. So I'm really excited to spend this time with you this evening. And I'm also honored and delighted to announce the Archimedes Scholarship uh, and, and to talk and to congratulate our winner for this year. Uh, the Archimedes Scholarship is a four year, $20,000 scholarship for students who plan to pursue a career in STEM that is science, technology, engineering, or math. So Judith and Andrew Akandamas are the donors of this new scholarship, new uh, as of a couple years now, and they both had successful careers in the STEM fields. They want to do more to help promote more students to do the same. So this is the first year that two, not one, but two Booker students will be receiving the Archimedes Scholarship. So first, I would like to recognize and congratulate Archimedes Scholar Brianna Whitlarge Isaacs. And Brianna plans to pursue a career in medicine. She is uh, part of the Booker High School Visual and Performing Arts uh, Dance uh, Group, and she's also dual enrolled at State College of Florida. Her extracurricular activities include College for Every Student, Brilliant Pathways. She's a Booker senior leader, and she's also part of BHS Ambassadors. Brianna is ranked number three in the class of 2021 with a 4.96 GPA, and she'll be attending the University of Florida in the fall. Congratulations to you, Brianna Whitlarge Isaacs. And our second Archimedes scholar is Jashaya Pascal. And Jashaya, as uh, similar to Brianna, is going to be pursuing a career in medicine. She is also a BHS Visual and Performing Arts uh, participant, uh, also dual enrolled at State College of Florida, a part of College for Every Student, a part of Brilliant Pathways, part of the Senior Leaders Program at Booker and also a B Booker High School Ambassador. Jashaya is ranked number five in her class and will also be receiving a $20,000 four-year scholarship, uh, Archimedes Scholarship. Her, her, she's number five in her class with a 4.75 GPA and I just wanna say congratulations to Jashaya and to Brianna. And I'd now like to introduce uh, Archon Herman Bell, who will be announcing the next award. Thank you, Dr. Whitson. We're having a few little technical difficulties, which has become commonplace with all these Zoom and who knew what StreamYard was. Next up, actually, is going to be Team Up, a scholarship presentation by Team Up and Candace. Candace, you're muted. Sorry about that. The Team Up Volunteer and Partnership Council supports Sarasota County Schools and the Office of Community Involvement by offering awards to high school seniors with exemplary volunteerism and accomplishment in their schools and community. Lily Kagan was integral in starting the volunteer program in the school district. This year's winner of the Lily Kagan Award, Brianna Whitlarge Isaacs, receives a $1,000 award for developing, establishing, and implementing the dual enrollment club a program to make the dual enrollment pathway to state college of florida as smooth as possible for her fellow students she has designed this program to be sustained after her graduation congratulations brianna the next award is the freeman orthodontics inspiration award it is sponsored by dr david freeman and his wife tiffany Calvo. Students are nominated by their counselor or principal for overcoming unique and challenging circumstances by remaining in school. Jacoby Green receives a $500 award. Jacoby believes that changing lives comes from service. He relishes every opportunity to help and lead his peers. Jacoby volunteers in the Boca High School College and Career Resource Center, mentoring other students and assisting them develop their post-secondary plans. Jacoby chairs the Careers International Affairs Club, is a college for every student peer mentor, a member of the Principal's Cabinet, a club volunteer for Y Achiever and Boys and Girls Club, and a career source Suncoast board member. He plans to attend Florida State University majoring in criminology and minoring in political science with a long-term goal of becoming a judge. Congratulations, Jacoby. Thank you very much, Ms. McLeod. 
Our next scholarship presentation of Gamma Xi Boulay, Mr. Carl Battle. Good evening, Booker High School, and a tremendous congratulations to all of the senior class awardees. I am Carl Battle, chairman of Gamma Xi Boulay Foundation, which provides a number of leadership, internship, scholarship, and careership programs under our Journey to Success initiative. Many Booker High School students, including our current scholarship recipient, have participated in our Journey to Success programs. So it is indeed a wonderful privilege to be with you to help celebrate excellence and growth as Booker High seniors continue on their own journeys to success. It is an honor and a privilege to present on behalf of Gamma Xi Boulay Foundation to such a fantastic student, Mr. Jacoby Green, who will receive the George and Janet Miles Scholarship in the amount of $16,000 to be paid over four years. Jacoby will attend at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to pursue his interest in business law and pharmacy. Congratulations, Jacoby. You already have success written all over you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Battle. Jacoby, it sounds like I need some help with my doctorate program, so I'm gonna be contacting you, buddy. Um, thank you to all of our scholarship presenters. Uh, we appreciate all the work you've done in getting these funds to our students, and we're excited to see what they do with them. We have our first speech of the night, Ms. Jaylene Jenkins. Hi, my name is Jaylene Jenkins, and good evening, fellow graduates, faculty, staff, family, friends, award winners. Uh, firstly, congratulations to everyone for being here tonight, and for all of our award winners, you guys all deserve the world. <laughs> So as Mr. Andrews and Mr. Downing tells us in the college room, we are supposed to first explain what we're doing before we get into it. So that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to be honing in on the Winston Churchill quote, success is not final, failure isn't fatal, and it's the courage to continue that counts. I will be talking to you about accomplishments made by society as a whole, um, us individually and us as a class. So firstly, and obviously, we finished high school. Um, go us. We made it through six years of elementary school, three grueling years of middle school, and four long years of high school. And we still have a few more days. <laughs> um, we lived, we laughed, we learned, we honed new skills, we we grew, we grew as human beings. Uh, we learned new skills such as cooking, public speaking, loving others, developing relationships, calculus. <laughs> we learned how to take care of ourselves, which is a big one. We learned how to self care. Uh, we learned how to love ourselves enough to take care of it, take care of our bodies and take care of our minds. Um, we learned to create. To my BPA family, we learned how to use our creativity and imagination and just spread it to the rest of our lives. Um, we learned how to use that creativity and imagination to be proactive, to protest, to learn, finding ways to just hone in on new skills. Um, we also learned how to drive. Um, well, some of us learned how to drive. Most of us just got our licenses and hoped for the best. <laughs> but we learned how to be adults. We learned how to be responsible adults, which is why we're behind the wheel. <laughs> uh, we spoke up for what we believed in. You know, we screamed Black Lives Matter and Mu Muslim Lives Matter and LGBTQ Lives Matter. We made those in power hear our voices, and we amplified the voices of those who are softer. And while we have miles ahead to go, the steps that we've made 
the steps that we've made are monumental. Uh, now, I could go on and on about all of the different things we did. You know, we glue up. A lot of us are serving a lot harder than we did four years ago. At least I know I am. <laughs> uh, we could talk about, you know, how we started to exercise or we learned to love our bodies the way that we are or, or the way that they are. But personally, the most notable achievement that anyone can make and that I have made in the last four years is that I woke up this morning, that you woke up this morning, that we all woke up this morning and we woke up yesterday morning and the morning before that, that we continued to keep getting up despite all of the hate and the darkness that is within the world, we still kept going and we kept persevering. We didn't give up. And now I was an in-person student all year, but I can only imagine what it was like to get up and go to school next to your bed. Um, could not be me. I was, online school was so hard and terrible and it was hard to keep focus and to keep persevering. So to all of my fellow students who were remote this year, I applaud you for all of the hard work you did this year and all of the work that it took to get to the end. Um, now I struggle a lot with depression and anxiety, so getting up is a struggle for me uh, most days. And as a lot of us have issues with it, um, but the fact that we keep getting up shows just how well, how great we are at persevering and how strong we are thus making it the best accomplishment one could ever have. Now, my advice to my fellow graduates, to myself, to my family, and to my friends, don't take for granted your accomplishments. Recognize even the things that seem small because they're the biggest steps you can take in that moment. You are more than worthy and capable of anything. And you're worthy and more than capable of being celebrated. So celebrate yourself and celebrate others. Just don't be afraid to celebrate. Celebrate the small things. And before I leave you today, I would like to remind you of the Winston Churchill quote, that success isn't final and failure isn't fatal, but it's the courage to continue that counts. So congrats again to all of my fellow graduates and my fellow award winners. Uh, thank you to all of my teachers and to my family. Um, and have a wonderful evening. I'm going to figure this mic thing out. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Anyway, great job, Jalen. Miss Davis wanted to let you know what she thought of your speech. She was speechless. Great job. We have a scholarship presenter that we had to skip over, but he is here now. Mr. Arc Archon Bell for the Brian Ellerson BDE Scholarship and Zenith Insurance Scholarships. Thank you very much. Um, I am uh, honored to be able to award Archon Brown Ellison Scholarship along with his company, BDE Scholarship. In addition, we also will award the Zenith Insurance Company Scholarship. The Brown Ellison Scholarship is $7,500 to be paid over a four year period of time. And the Zenith Insurance Scholarship is $2,500 for a total of $10,000. And this award will go to Zianna Williams. And we wish her luck and success in her pursuit of her college education. Thank you very much, Mr. Bell. Again, thank you to all of our donors who've been presenting scholarships so far throughout the evening. Students, remember, keep shouting each other out as the night goes on. You don't need to just put your name in for those awards. Shout out each other for all the great things that are happening this evening. Now introducing the Sarasota Lions Club scholarships totaling $8,000. Great job, Brianna and Andrea. We also have the Gulf Coast Community Foundation, Jerry and Ron Yanover Scholarship Fund, 
totaling over $3,000. We have the Gould Family Trust Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 and a part-time scholarship of over $400. We also have the Gulf Coast Community Foundation Scholarship totaling over $10,000. Great job, students. You're going to see a lot of these names over and over. Some amazing students tonight. We also have the Doug and Paula Griffin Scholarship, totaling $1,500 to Mr. Wesley Tunstall. Great job, Wesley. And finally, we have the Kyle Kerwaby Scholarship, totaling $30,000. All of these students are participating in that scholarship. Great job. Now, obviously, none of this would be possible. None of these things at Booker High School College of Career Readiness would be possible without Mr. Lem Andrews, who's going to speak about the CFES Ambassador Program. Thank you, Mr. Sheik, and congratulations to the seniors. You've done a great, great job. The College for Every Student Program um, has been here in our school, housed here for a little over 15 years, and we, we have been embrace the three core practices of uh, leadership through service, peer mentoring, and also the desire to build a portfolio, a portfolio. Our students have done a great job and they've learned how to serve and they become servant leaders in the community and as you can tell on the campus. And we're very proud to have the partnership with the College for Every Student Brilliant Pathways Program. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. And now, here are a few ambassadors with a special, special message. Hello, my name is Eric Reynoso. Hi, my name is Brianna Whitlarge-Isaac. Hi, my name is Jacoby Green, and we're all Booker High School CFES Brilliant Pathways Ambassadors. Um, we would like to thank all of the organizations and foundations that have helped us with our post-secondary planning throughout our long four years here. Um, we can't get everyone, but we would definitely like, like to thank the Andrew and Judith Economics, Doug and Paula Griffin, Harold and Wanda Levy, and Big Brothers Big Sisters of Sarasota County. The Gulf Coast Community Foundation, the Community Foundation of Sarasota, as well as the Booker Foundation for Arts and Education and the Selby Foundation. We also want to give thanks to David and Dr. Lisa Grain, John Swift, Face of Accomplishment, and the Charles and Marjorie Brenzik Foundation. We would also like to thank the newcomers to our Booker Nation, including the Sarasota crew and Dr. Robert Rosenblau. And we would like to add to those who have become members of our family, the Booker family, this year. And those would include Hodo Savea Scholarship. And Calvin Bryant Scholarship, Camp Hill Family Scholarship, and Kyle Kerberway. And we would not like to end this video without saying thank you to Nona's for the delicious pizza and subs. Congratulations again to the class of 2021. And thank you to all the donors out there to contribute to our success. As usual, the ambassadors always do a great job speaking. Um, don't worry, they were not around each other for less than, for more than 15 minutes, so we didn't have to do any contact tracing. Anyway, just a reminder about what Dr. Shelley was sharing about Booker Promise and the donate in the top right hand button. Mr. Brian and Gina, thank you so much for your donation of $25. We're up to 150. Dr. Shelley said, we're not leaving this tonight until we hit 1,000, so please start donating. Thank you again to all of our donors tonight. You guys have been fantastic. We have a lot more to go through. We now have some scholarship presentations from the Oaks Women's Club, Suncoast Music, SCF Excellence Award, and the BHS Foundation. Hello, my name is Beth Gehring, and I'm chairman of the Oaks Women's Club Scholarship Program. The Oaks Women's Club is a social and philanthropic organization located at the Oaks Club, a residential golf course community in Osprey, Florida. We are very pleased and proud to announce that Booker High School senior girls, Chloe Bernal, Sophia Cosia, Ziona Williams, and Brianna Whitlarge Isaacs have been selected as 2021 scholarship recipients. These exceptional young women were selected because of their academic achievement, leadership, extracurricular activities, community service, and financial need. Each will receive a $5,000 scholarship to assist with their college expenses. In addition, they'll be eligible for a renewal scholarship to help with their sophomore year costs. 
The Oaks Women's Club Scholarship Program was established in 2001, shortly after 9-11, as a way to give back to the community and help Sarasota high school girls with their college expenses. This year, the program is awarding $80,000 to 16 exceptional students in the county. Since its inception 20 years ago, the Oaks Women's Club Scholarship has raised over $730,000 to help 156 young women reach their educational goals. Thank you. Congratulations to Booker High School seniors, Colin Leonard and Leela Sundaram for winning their awards in the Suncoast Music Scholarships 2021. Colin Leonard's audition on tenor sax was so exciting with his multiple styles that he earned for himself the first place, winning $3,000. Leela Sundaram won third place with her vocal performance, winning $1,000. Suncoast Music Scholarships are offered through a partnership of Artist Series Concerts of Sarasota and Sarasota Music Club. Funds awarded to 10th through 12th graders in Sarasota or Manatee County are awarded through an audition and to be used for music education purposes, including instrument purchase and repair, tuition or lessons. Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. We congratulate the two of you, Colin and, and Leela. And sincere thanks to all of their music teachers and Booker High School staff who helped nurture these fine young musicians. Yes, yes. Bravi tutti. Everyone. I'm Liz, a new student specialist from the State College of Florida, and I'm happy to present the SCF Excellence Award. The State College of Florida Excellence Award is a scholarship to honor our commitment and relationships with the high schools in our area. The scholarship is for two years tuition and fees for up to 15 credits for four semesters with a value of $6,308. SCF is proud to partner with Booker High to award this year's Excellence Award to Ashley Ojeda. Ashley, we're so excited to have you as a manatee this fall. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2021. Good evening. My name is Keith DeBose and I'm a proud member of the Booker High School Foundation for Arts and Education. And I'm pleased to be here this evening to award our scholarship to a very deserving Booker High School student. The Booker High School Foundation for Arts and Education was started to recognize and support the artistic aspirations and high educational achievement of Booker High School students. Comprised of Booker High School staff, Booker High School alumni, and community members, the foundation privately supports the rich culture of success cultivated at Booker High School. This year's scholarship recipient is Maria Sanchez. Maria is in her second year of full-time dual enrollment at SCF. Maria is a Florida Talented 20 program participant who has a 5.0 weighted GPA. Maria is ranked number one in her class and is on track to receive her AA degree. It is with great pleasure and on behalf of our foundation that we award this year's scholarship to Maria Sanchez. On behalf of the Booker High School Foundation for Arts and Education, we are proud to be a part of the Booker Nation and we are proud to continue our support of Booker High School students as they seek to become college and career ready. Another huge shout out again to all of our sponsors tonight for all the scholarships. Students, where are you going to college? Let's put it in the chat so everybody can see where you're going. Just a reminder, keep putting your name in there for the tickets as well as the shout outs to your friends. We have some more scholarship recipients. We have the G. Duncan Finley SRQ Memorial Hospital Award totaling over or totaling $30,000. Great job, students. We also have the Community Foundation of Sarasota, Alan Wirtz Nobby and Joe Bowen Nobby Scholarship Fund totaling over $30,000. The Community Foundation of Sarasota, David and Faye Dorfman Scholarship Fund. The Community Foundation of Sarasota, Dorothy B. Templeton Scholarship Fund. We also have the Community Foundation, obviously, is an amazing partner of ours. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Scholarship Fund, totaling $6,000. The Dr. Shirley Ford Scholarship Fund, totaling $3,000. Congratulations, McCaven. The Edward L. Town and Stephen R. B. Rubin Theater and Performing Arts Scholarship, $12,000. Congratulations, Sophia. 
We have the Community Foundation again of Sarasota, Emily and Roland Abraham Educational Fund of over 5,000. We have the Father Connie Doherty Memorial Scholarship Fund totaling over 3,000 to Brianna again. Great job, Brianna out there. We have the Hazel Marjorie Collins Fund totaling over 5,000. We have the James Franklin Warnell and Dorothy J. Warnell Scholarship totaling 6,000. The Jane T. and Robert V. Corning Scholarship Fund. The Joanne S. Hastings Fund totaling 1,500 to Colin Leonard. The Lauren R. North and Ruth H. North Scholarship Fund totaling 2,000. 1,300 to Marcus Cruz, courtesy of Mary M. and George H. Hamill. We also have more from the Community Foundation, the Macaulay Brown Scholarship totaling 4,500. The Sarasota County Bar Association Booker Law Academy Scholarship totaling 1,000. Can you see that number in the middle? $100,000 to Mitzi Escalante. Amazing, Mitzi. We also have 5,775 shared among the students on the right. The Willie Mae Sheffield Endowed Scholarship. We have the Dr. Robert Rosenbluth Award to Raul Ortiz. Congratulations. We have the Calvin Bryant Award totaling $2,000. We have the Peggy Wiggins and Ozell Singleton Award for 650 to Maria Sanchez. We have $1,000 to Demario Evans, courtesy of M&A Lancaster Award. We have a speaker coming up, but did you guys see that? $100,000, amazing. Lots of money being handed out tonight. And not handed out, these students have earned it through all their hard work in high school. Again, they're gonna do amazing things. We are now excited to present our next speaker, Sayuri Perez. Good evening, everyone. As mentioned before, my name is Ayuri Perez Maridueña, and today I'm going to give a speech. <clears throat> today is an important day for all of us because our brothers, sisters, parents, teachers, and friends are here to celebrate with us our accomplishments. We did it. <laughs> all of this wouldn't be possible without the help we received from all the school staff. First of all, I would like to thank everyone who helped us to be where we are right now. To all of my teachers, I want to say thank you for helping me. To understand how important this day is to me, I want to share with all of you today a little story about myself. I didn't go to school until I was seven in sixth grade because I was in a circus with my family. At the age of 10, my mom decided that I needed to go to the I needed to go to the school to have a better future. I took the placement test and my IQ was at the seventh grade level. But my mother held me back one year because she thought seventh grade was too advanced for my age. In here in the United States, it is equal to eighth grade. I finally started school in Ecuador. <clears throat> on, a <laughs> on a vacation four years ago, I came here to the United States. I went to all the Disney parks with my, with my father. That vacation never ends. I stayed here and did not return to Ecuador. Korea became my new home and I began a new life here in the United States. When I came here, I didn't know English at all. I needed, I, the only thing I knew to say was hello. I started school on August of the same year. On the first day of school, I was so nervous because I didn't know the language. But thanks to all of my teachers, little by little, I was able to speak English. I am no 100% fluent in, in English, but I am able to read, write, and speak in my new language. My first year was hard, but I was able to continue. In my second year, I participated in the girls' soccer team. It was a big accomplishment for me because by this time, I didn't know English, but I was able to communicate with my coach and teammates. 
During my third year, I enrolled in the Sencos Technica College. I was so nervous because I didn't think I was able to go because STC does not offer the same kind of support as Booker does for ESO students. I was able to get in the program. I was so excited. And now in my last year, I finished my accounting program. This program is about doing payroll for the company and taking care of their money. This is a career I want to continue in college. There is a quote that never left me that I want to share with all of you today. No matter how hard it is right now, think of how the result would make you feel. No matter how hard it is right now, think of what the result would make you feel. Yes, I, it was hard, but I didn't give up. Although my journey was hard, I could never imagine graduating here in the United States. I was never good at English at my old school. It feels so great that all the hard work has paid off. My accomplishments don't belong solely to me. They also belong to those who sacrifice so much so their daughters and sons could succeed and chase the America dream. In my future, I will continue what I'm doing right now. I will keep working on my dreams, no matter how hard it is. I will just fix the road and keep driving. Yes, it was a hard journey from the beginning to the end. But I had people who were there for me, who never let me give up. People who were at my worst point and now here to celebrate with us. To all of you, thank you. I know that it's not only me who has never given up. I know most of us at some point were ready to give up. But now, look what you did. You did it. You worked for it. Always take risks. Raise your voice to be here and always make a difference. Congratulations, class of 2021. Wow, thank you so much, Sayuri. So inspirational and moving. Um, the students were, they were just blessed to be able to hear you speak tonight. Fantastic job. And uh, I look forward to calling you when I need some help with accounting. Just a reminder, students, we have seven gift cards and four graduation pods available. The only way you can get them is if your name is in the chat. Don't forget to shout out your friends as well. And don't forget, if you didn't put where you're going to college, put that in there. <clears throat> a reminder about the donation. Dr. Shelley's texting me. Seriously, she's texting me now and said she wants to see $1,000 before tonight's over. Otherwise, I can't leave. So please help me get out of here. Although I'm at home, that does sound terrible. Let's move on to some special scholarship presentations from A. Jean Batty, Nick Stelmack, the Selby Foundation, Asala, and Take Stock in Children. Good evening. I'm Hank Batty, Chair of Light of the World International Church's A. Jean Batty Scholarship Fund Committee. And on behalf of our pastor, Reverend Kelvin L. Lumpkin, and the committee, I am pleased to present our 2021 scholarship awards to the winners of our annual Black History Essay Write-Off. Each year at our annual fundraiser luncheon, the top three writers become our keynote speakers in presenting their essays to our audiences. And this year, for the first time in our eight year history, all three writers have come from Booker High School. So we would also like to give a shout out to the Booker teaching staff for doing such a great job. And because Booker is my high school alma mater, I am especially proud. So with that preamble, I now present the 2021 Scholarship Awards. Our second runner up this year and the recipient of a $500 scholarship is Mr. Dylan Smith. Our second run, our first runner up and the recipient of a $700 scholarship is Mr. Miles Summerlin. And our first place winner and the recipient of a $1,000 scholarship is Ms. Brianna Whitlarge. Again, on behalf of our pastor, Reverend Kelvin L. Lumpkin and the committee, 
We offer our sincere congratulations and prayers that all three of you will go forward and conquer all of the goals that you have set for yourselves. And finally, thanks to the Brook High School Awards Committee for allowing us to be a part of such a great program. And we'll be looking forward to being here again next year for more presentations. And as Mrs. Batty would say, to God be the glory. Hi, my name is Liz, and on behalf of my sisters, Diana and Maria, I am very pleased to present the award winners of this year's Nicholas G. Stelmack Memorial Scholarship. Our brother, Nicky, was a behavioral specialist at Booker, and he was kind and caring, always looked out for others, especially his students. He wanted the best for them. His smile lit up a room and he was so funny. He was the type of person that everybody wanted to be around because he just made you laugh and smile. He made the world a better place. He loved making others happy. So when we select the student or students for this award, we look for some of the traits of Nikki. So we look for the student who is kind and caring and wants to make the world a better place. We look for that student who respects and goes out of their way to help others. We also look out for the student who needs a break. Nikki always looked out for the underdog and he believes if you give a kid a chance, they will soar. So without further ado, it is my great honor and pleasure to congratulate you, Melanie De La Rosa Rain and Juana Diego on winning this year's Nicholas G. Stelmack Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, girls. We wish you all the best. Keep shining bright. Thank you. Hi. My name is Molly Swift, and I have the pleasure of serving as the scholarships manager for the William G. and Marie Selby Foundation. A major focus of the Selby Foundation is to continue our founder's legacy to support students as they continue their education and pursue undergraduate degrees. And the primary way that we do this is through our Selby Scholar Program, which is a renewable four-year scholarship. Um, each year, our selection committee reads through many scholarship applications, but we can only select 40 students. And this is from a four-county area, Charlotte, DeSoto, Manatee, and Sarasota counties. Despite that, Booker High School is always well represented. And this year, we are pleased to announce that there are four students from Booker High selected as Selby Scholars. I am here to congratulate Chloe Bernal, Susan Bromland, Sophia Cassia and Marcus Cruz. We are so excited to have you join us as part of the 2021 Selby Scholar Cohort. And we want to congratulate you for all of your accomplishments. Thank you. Hello, Booker High School students and scholars. Um, it is my pleasure to announce the awards for scholarship this year, 2021, to these outstanding students who have achieved so much. The Minnesota branch of ASALA is an organization that has been around since 1915, established by Carter G. Woodson, the founder of Black History Month. And our branch here in Sarasota and Manatee is the largest in the country. And one of our greatest missions is to provide scholarships for outstanding students such as yourselves. And so it was a great challenge for us this year because of the pandemic to find the funds necessary to award the students uh, what they deserved. And we were able to meet that challenge by our wonderful, wonderful campaign. Uh, we called it Closing the Gap, and we did. We closed the gap. We met our goal to provide the funds for all of you deserving students. And so it is my pleasure as Harriet Cowan, chairperson for the Minnesota Asala Scholarship Committee to award wonderful, wonderful funds to wonderful, wonderful students. And so I would like to just again emphasize the impressive, impressive applications and scholarship essays and services that we were able to read about and learn about through uh, your application process. And so it was just such a pleasure. And so the awards we are announcing for this year are going to fabulous, fabulous people. And I'd like to present these awards. First of all, I'll read the names. Uh, Brianna Whitlodge, uh, Whitlodge Isaacs, Jacoby Green, Ziona Williams, 
Samadiba Jonas, Tiana Harris, and Jason Palavra. We are so very proud of you and we honor you and we know that you will be moving forward with great, great strides in your career and in your journey to higher education. Congratulations, Booker. We're so proud of all of you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lisa Bechtold. I'm the Executive Director of Take Stock in Children. We are so proud to speak tonight on behalf of 15 amazing seniors at Booker High School who are part of our Take Stock in Children program. Each of you will be receiving a medallion that you will be able to wear for your graduation and a letter from State President Jillian Hasner. I'd like to read each of the names of our 15 Take Stock in Children Booker High scholars. Jose Gonzalez Lopez, Janaya Gregory, Madison Hardin, Chris Lacey, Zulimia Martinez Cortez, Ezekiel Mori Gomez, Eric Reynoso Placencia, Anthony Romero Anzuris, Naquiria Scriven, Logan Shalosky, Dylan Smith, Miles Summerlin, Elias Vega, Dominique Watley, and Ziona Williams. We're very proud of you and we're looking so forward to what you do in your next chapter. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, our scholarship presenters. Thank you for taking the time to create these videos for our students. And obviously thank you so much for all the funds that you've donated. We have a few quick updates on our donations. Big shout out to Allison who donated $100. And also anonymous for $50, our total is now 300. As I told you, Dr. Shelley said, I can't leave my own house until there's a thousand dollars. But she also said, she just texted me, there is someone willing to match that $1,000. So let's try to reach that goal. Julie Ott, I know you wanted a shout out. You're not getting it until you make a donation. Students, just a reminder to have those gift cards and the graduation pods. Now on to more scholarships. The Zeta Phi Beta Award to Ziana Williams for $650. The Harold and Wanda Libby Award totaling $5,000. The John Swift Award totaling $5,000. The Military Officers Association Award totaling $8,000. The Butterflies and Dreams Book Award for Jashayla Pascal and Ziana Williams. The BHS Library Intern Award to Stephanie Morales and Susan Bromeland. The Florida PEO Scholarship Award to Audrey Rodriguez. The Campbell Family Scholarship Award to Kiara Jalen Jenkins. The Personal Estate Liquidator Scholarship totaling $14,000 to all of those students. The Carlos and Cariel Sanchez Award to Arlette Labrado and Elvis Marmalejos. Wow, that was a lot of scholarships, a lot of great students going on to great things. Again, over $500,000 in donations handed out this evening. Honestly, this was fantastic for me. Those of you know who I left, uh, Booker, unfortunately, I miss Booker. I still have all my shirts. I got my purple shoes and one day I'll be back. Um, thank you so much for letting me be with you this evening. Um, and now I'm going to pass it over to, again, without him, none of this would ever be possible, Mr. Lem Andrews. Thank you, Mr. Schenk, and thank you so much for hosting the virtual awards night tonight. Um, as always, you bring that life and that energy, and we, we appreciate you so much and miss you over here at Booker High. I want you to always know that. Got to go fishing one day soon. Yes, one day. One day, hopefully. Uh, students, you, you have done a great job. There's still more work to be done, seniors. There's still more scholarships uh, that you can apply to. And we're hoping that you take advantage of the few that are still remaining. Some organizations have not uh, listed, uh, told us the names of their winners. I have not made decisions yet. Uh, so don't, be encouraged. Do not stop working towards your goal. That's the first step toward progress. Uh, keep working. Keep working as, as always. Uh, don't forget to donate uh, and we will announce the winners of the drawings and the raffles uh, tomorrow. Uh, I'll reach out to all of the students and I want to thank Dana Schneider, I almost said Backage, uh, for the work that you've done 
with this amazing program tonight. And thank all of our donors again. We, we genuinely appreciate you for the support you've given our students. Um, without you, uh, we, we could not do what we do here at Booker High. And it's not just the, the money that you've donated, but your time and effort here uh, on our campus with your internships, your job shadowing opportunities, your mentoring, your volunteering. I thank all of you. I thank the family for supporting these students as well. Class of 2021, thank you for the honor and privilege of serving you. Um, I, in a week or so, you, you graduate and you move on. And again, as I said earlier, I have no doubt that you are ready to impact and change a post-pandemic world. Thanks everyone for being here and good night.